So I'm starting out with a, um, a nice container. I've got stones in there for like the earth line. I've got some curly willow in there, which creates an armature to help hold, hold the flowers in place. And then just putting in some of the different, I've got hydrangeas in here already. These are some astrogestrous leaves that I folded over to create a nice design. And it's always cutting the flowers on an angle so they have a better, better surface to take up the water within the design also. These are some tin cushion portillas as well, which is a tropical flower. Very long lasting. So when I put together designs, I always try to choose the different flowers and greeneries. It's gonna add some nice texture and variation to the designs as well. We've got some of the um, Palancho blossoms also. And this one's gonna be more of the vibrant colors. The oranges, the greens, and poppies, locally grown in a greenhouse right out of Montague in that area also. It's nice to get flowers this early from the local growers. I've got a stem of Cymbidium orchids as well, which is again another long-lasting flower. In there too. And then Crespedia, which is a great flower to use also, great texture and color. And then I've got some of the Green Trick Dianthus, which is a very soft, mossy type flower that is from the um, Predation family. How long will that last? This here is going to last a good seven to ten days at least, especially if you keep the water changed and recut the stems of the flowers. If the water ever gets cloudy within your vase, that means there's bacteria in there and you need to clean it out. That's gonna shorten the life of the flowers. So always keep clean water in there with the flower food. Yeah, so this just creates a nice centerpiece for the tables or something along that line. Especially with the oranges and the yellows, it makes a nice punch of color within the design then also.